I am going to say welcome to everybody. You are joining the United Way. Cheers to our volunteers. My name is Mike. I am coming to you from the universe of United Way, as you can tell from my flag in the background. I am going to um, also host a stein to you. This is my mug where I'm going to say cheers to all of our volunteers. I'm hoping that everybody has a nice libation with them. And I want to welcome you to our evening of celebration. We have had, let's just say, um, one heck of a year. We've had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers. And I know that many of you know each other and probably got to know each other through all of the work we've done together this year. And um, it's been thousands and thousands of hours and it just seemed like the right thing to do to give you all a shout out and say thank you. So um, with that, I'd like to introduce my co-host for the evening, Dr. Cynthia Whitaker, a very good friend of mine, a member of our United Way uh, Advisory Council. Cynthia is also the Chief Executive Officer of Greater Nashville Mental Health, which makes her the, uh, the city's chief psychiatrist for any of you who have that need, as I do from time to time. Cynthia, welcome to the show, and thank you for joining us this evening. I'm going to let you unmute yourself, but I'm going to mute everybody else so we don't get too much background noise. And, and uh, then uh, we'll say a couple words, and we'll kick off our introductory uh, video. Meaning you want to show that loop again? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, thank you, everybody, for being here, and thank you, Mike, um, for allowing me the privilege of being the MC tonight. Um, I wasn't quite sure if we were cheering or cheering, so cheering. I, did come, I did come prepared for both, um, thanks to my daughter. Um, so thank you for being here, and we put together a great show celebrating you, the volunteers. Uh, tonight. So Mike's going to start us off with a little loop, um, showing a little bit of some of what we're going to do this evening, and then we'll jump into some other things. I assume you can hear the sound now.
what a great little teaser of all the great things we have in store this evening. Some entertainment, some laughs, some thank yous, and some prizes. So Pri later. Go right, ahead, Mike. Prizes? <laughs> yes, we have prizes. <laughs> oh, then I'm in the right place. We always have prizes. <laughs> that sounds good. So this has certainly been a year filled with problems and uncertainties. And you, United Way volunteers, were shining examples of how Living United can get us through some difficult times. So we're going to start with some special thank yous from Justin Cates, the Director of Emergency Management for the City of New Hampshire, and Senator Jean Shaheen. Hi, I'm Justin Cates, Director of Emergency Management for the City of Nashua. I wanted to take a moment to thank the United Way's COVID volunteer uh, Corps for all the work that they've done over the past year to assist the city and the region with the response to COVID-19. Uh, it's pretty amazing to see all the types of activities that uh, the volunteers were engaged with throughout the year, ranging from uh, those donations management, distributing masks out into the community, helping out at the public health sites, whether it be the alternate care site, the testing clinics, uh, and now the vaccination clinics. Um, it's really remarkable to see how we were able to pull so many different community volunteers together uh, under one roof and try and find ways to get them involved in the community. I'm excited to see what we end up doing in the future with uh, United Way as well as the many volunteers that are affiliated with them. Uh, this won't be the last disaster we deal with here in the city. And so we want to have the ability to use the community uh, and, and try and respond and recover to emergencies effectively. Thanks again for all of your help over the last year. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jean Shaheen. As volunteers at the United Way of Greater Nashua, you've been on the front lines during the COVID-19 pandemic, helping your neighbors and communities weather this crisis. In the last year, you've provided students with the technology required to learn remotely, collected and distributed food to children and families, supplied our nonprofits and social service agencies with personal protective equipment, and supported operations at vaccination and testing clinics. Public service is needed now more than ever, and I thank each one of you for answering the call to action. I'm inspired by your selfless efforts and grassroots organizing that have helped so many during this challenging time. I will continue to do all I can to make sure you and all Granite Staters have the resources and support you need. Tonight, we honor you and your outstanding work to confront this crisis and help our communities recover. Thank you all. That is certainly correct, Senator Shaheen. Tonight, we honor you and all that the volunteers did. And somebody popped in the chat a big thank you to our vaccination crew as um, Justin was speaking about how the United Way volunteers helped with that. So we're very appreciative of that. You know what, and Cynthia? That reminds me. People should probably be like chatting, don't you think? Like, let's use the chat can. box and keep it keep the energy going. They certainly can. And we are going to start off with some cheers for this first part of the entertainment of our show. We've got a junior cheer squad from Showcase Hudson because tonight is all about saying cheers to our volunteers. So here they are, Showcase Hudson, to cheer you on. That's exciting. It is exciting.
Sharks. Mike, was that you I saw behind one of those masks? Uh, yeah, no. Was that you? <laughs> Uh, definitely not. Maybe my kid, she can do some of those tumbles, but I certainly can. <laughs> and that was a lot of awesome, great energy from those young ladies, wasn't it? We're so thankful to uh, showcase Hudson for cheering you on. Certainly. So it. Go ahead. No, it's all right. No, yeah, I would say it certainly was. That was cool. It was cool. So it's been a tough year for all of us. Um, so in addition to some cheers, we thought we could use a good laugh. So tonight we're pleased to introduce a local stand-up comic, Greg Bogus. Now I know He'll that, make fun of that name. <laughs> I know that. And I know Greg talks a little quiet, so you guys listening in might just want to crank up your volume as much as as high as you can for this little piece right here. Cool. He's been making people laugh for uh, almost 20 years, I think he told us. And he can be seen regularly at uh, Fody's Tavern here in Nashua. So enjoy. And like Mike said, you might want to turn up your volume. But you thought I was going to keep on going, huh? You can never be too safe. Greetings. My name is Greg Bogus. This is the comedy portion of the United Way of Nashua's Cheers to Our Volunteers event. I'm very excited to be a part of this, and I'm very... But you sorry. thought I was going to keep on going, huh? There are you never be too safe. Greetings. Nice My name is Greg Bogus. Cheers, Cheers to our volunteers. So I'm that very excited to be a part of this, too. And I'm very happy to have your help. So, that being said, thank you very much. So you heard right, my name is Greg Bogus. I'm a stand-up comic. I am also an actor and a writer and uh, also a model. And uh, I actually make my own line of clothes. I'm wearing right now the spring line of the latest Tony Soprano wear. So if uh, you'd like a shirt, give me a call. And you also heard right, the real name is Bogus, Greg Bogus, that's my family name. It's a great name for comedy because people laugh at the name of Bogus. But it's a little difficult in the working world. You go to a bank with a bogus check, they give you a bit of a hard time. Now, if you have the Netflix, there's this movie called The Strange Name Movie, and it's about people with funny and peculiar names. You'll see me in there a few times, so please rent The Strange Name Movie on Netflix and watch it and see me. There's a, another fellow from New Hampshire in there, from Lebanon, New Hampshire, and his name is Frankenstein. And he's a grumpy old Yankee, and he's very upset about it. And at one point, he says, people used to call me and leave me messages and say, hey, where's Igor? And then he said, the book came out, and the calls doubled. I'm thinking, the book came out in the 1800s, buddy. So if you got a funny name, let me know. Um, so uh, it's been a pleasure doing stand-up comedy, but I've been on a bit of a break, so please give me a, a little bit of a pass here. I've uh, been traveling around, uh, did a lot of shows back in the day. One time I had a show in Boston, went down with my buddy uh, for the show. He's a great guy, but he's got the road rage, something fierce. I get in the car with him, he's driving along, and he's screaming, foaming at the mouth, sweating, punching me in the arm. He's like, Greg, look in the rearview mirror. This guy is two feet from my rear end. If this guy was a foot closer, he could give me an exam. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Now, I've got to breathe a voice of reason and calm him down. I'm like, Ernie, you're at the Dunkin' Donuts drive through Why don't you have a cappuccino? That should take the edge off you. So whenever I get to Massachusetts, it's always nice to go down to the Cape. Uh, I'm uh, from New Hampshire, so I'm a little bit envious of the Massachusetts coastline. Massachusetts has 1,500 miles of lovely coastline. Uh, Maine has 7,000 miles of lovely coastline. New Hampshire has a little 15-mile chunk of coastline. That's it. And the folks in New Hampshire figured that was the best place to put the nuclear power plant. I'm like, what are you kidding me? So I hope everybody's doing okay. Uh, we're getting through this whole COVID thing. Uh, we're now, I think, in mud season here in New England. Uh, we're soon to be in spring and looking forward to getting out to the walking trails and the beaches and all that. 
uh, as a French Canadian guy, when I go to the beach, I have to wear a Speedo. Uh, I'm supposed to keep this clean, right? But uh, I'm very, very excited about that. And I want people to uh, uh, get out there and have a good time uh, and, uh, and try to, to, to live and breathe and, uh, and, uh, and take a break and, uh, and relax and all that. I know that's been tough for the COVID-19. Uh, doing stand-up comedy, I like to go out and meet people, and uh, it's very, very difficult. It's been a challenge. I kind of realize that when everybody's wearing a mask, every single one of my encounters, I feel like Dracula. All right, enough of that. Uh, and you also learn some things about yourself. Uh, for me, uh, when I went down to the uh, local uh, hardware store, I had never noticed that uh, Ernie in the plumbing department's eyes were such a ravishing shade of blue. Uh, there's some things uh, also about uh, uh, masks uh, that I think uh, there's only two people that are actually happy about the fact that there are masks. And those two people, uh, two kinds of people, I guess, and those kinds of people are A, people with cold sores, and B, bank robbers. <laughs> so uh, I hope you've had a good time. Uh, my name is Greg Bogus, and I very much appreciate everybody uh, at the United Way, and um, I hope that you continue reaching out and helping people because the world's a better place. Uh, wear a mask, uh, wash your hands, and uh, be good to people. Thank you very much. I'm Greg Bogus. <laughs> oh, wasn't that great? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't look it up yet if that's a real movie or not uh, with all those funny names and if it is maybe uh some as anybody seen it they should put it in the chat or if you know anybody with a funny name you should put it in the chat what do you think mike is it something you've seen you think it's real i think it's real yeah i bet you cool. it, i bet you it is well that's something we'll have to look up next i guess so yeah we're so thankful to greg for adding some light-hearted fun to our evening hopefully it made some of you laugh even though everybody's on mute so we can't hear you um but what we're going to do now is talk some more about some of the very important ways in which you, our volunteers, have helped in 2020. I suspect so, there's some volunteers here in the audience who might start seeing themselves showing up in some of this as well. I suspect there are. So one of the things that our community doesn't talk about too much outside of folks like United Way and people that work in the human services field is the availability of food. There are many people in our community who experience food insecurity, and this has been especially true during the pandemic. So thanks to you, our food pantries have been stocked and food was distributed throughout the community. Here's some thank yous from some of the places who support the mission of providing food to all of those in need. at Maine Dunstable, wanting you, all the students in our area to know we miss you so very, very much. Hope all is well with you. Today starts our food dis distribution times on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 o'clock to 2.30. So anyone who's interested in coming to pick up some food at that time, please join us. And we are very grateful to the uh, National Transit System and the United Way for making this possible. Take care of yourselves and come on in and help yourself to some food if you need it. Thank you. Corpus Christi Food Pantry and Assistance. Before the pandemic hit, we had approximately 60 to 70 active volunteers working each week. When the country shut down in March 2020, the Board of Directors faced a difficult decision. Could we remain open? The decision was simple. 
we were essential. Because of the inherent risks, only 10 to 15 volunteers were able to return, supporting our mission of feeding the hungry. Staying open was their common objective, and these dedicated and flexible individuals persevered. In a matter of days, the pantry redesigned its food distribution process. The United Way assisted us with weekly food deliveries. Their donation of food in the commercial freezer and for food and personal sense of security. As core volunteers continue to adapt to the challenging situations they face daily, our dedicated family has stayed resilient and strong and has fostered a sense of security for the community which we serve. Hello everybody, this is Megan, the Community Outreach Coordinator with Nashua Soup Kitchen and Shelter. I just wanted to take a moment to thank some of our amazing volunteers that we've been able to work with through the United Way, doing things such as collecting donations of food, donations of PPE, tents and sleeping bags for our clients. We've also had a fantastic volunteer partnership with the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua, the YMCA, and the United Way in running eight mobile pantries across the city which over COVID have become necessary services. So thank you again to our amazing volunteers and thank you to the United Way. Those awesome volunteers in action and there's gonna be a lot more of that to come. So definitely if you see somebody or recognize yourself, don't be ashamed, give yourself a shout out, celebrate yourself in the pictures, it's okay. So sometimes people that don't know about United Way might say, what is United Way? But we know it's not the what, it's the who. We are the problem solvers, the hand raisers, the game changers. We fight for health, education, financial stability of every person in every community. The United Way of Greater Nashville is a small organization with a mighty impact. So it has four employees and over 700 volunteers, together making a big difference in our community. Mike's gonna hit it for a slideshow. So we're gonna celebrate all of you, our volunteers, and thank you for volunteering with us so that we can make that big impact. This image here represents how much you have made that happen. Keep watching for lots of more highlights.
Um, Mike, volunteers do make it happen, don't they? Incredible. Uh, but you know yeah. what? I think, I think there's only really one reason why everybody joined us tonight, and that's probably not to hear from you and me, but to hear from Sarah and have some raffle prizes. What do you think? I think that that is probably true. So maybe we should turn it over to Sarah Caesar, United Way's Director of Volunteer and Community Engagement with some of our raffle winners. Uh, well, I think that's a good idea. Sarah, are you there with us tonight? I most certainly am. Who are you, are you coming to us from our, your, your, our volunteer engagement headquarters in your basement? <laughs> That's exactly right, yes. But the headquarters, but it has been all, all year. <laughs> Astonishing, the secret bunker. Yes. So anyway, thank you, um, Cynthia and Mike. Um, so I'd like to congratulate all of our lucky winners um, and thank all of our volunteers for your hard work over the past year. We're really excited about the prizes we have for our raffle winners today, but we're equally excited about the fun items we have in our thank you packets for volunteers you can pick up at the office at 20 Broad Street uh, next week between 11 and 3 on weekdays. King David Coffee, Aromas Joe's Coffee, Riverwalk Cafe, and New Hampshire Power Yoga have all donated coupons for you and we've included some United Way volunteer stickers that can go in your car, laptop, or mug that our volunteer Lisa Dumont has created for us. And we have volunteer recognition certificates for you to pick up at the same time. So I'll be announcing the, the raffle winners in just a moment. Um, Mike, is there a slide of the raffle winners that we can show? Well, I can show the slide, but do you want to announce the winners before I show the slide, or what do you think? Well, um, I'm not, yeah, why don't you slow, show the, the slide, and then I will also announce them. Okay, again. well, this is the first slide. I have three slides. Here's the first one. All right. So our raffle winners today, we have a lot of different types of prizes. Um, Jean Shaliner and Sam Anzarillo have both won a volunteer raffle prize for $300 towards tax prep from um, Christine Flanders and Deborah Franks. Um, and that is at Fortitude um, CPA, which is actually in the United Way building. And then we have a few more that should be coming up here also. Well, we do. So um, we also have Barbara Blue, who won a um, gift certificate for Fringe Salon and Spa, also in the United Way building, um, for uh, $55 for a manicure and pedicure. And Pusco Joshi has won a gift certificate, and that actually is for um, Arby's. For, um, actually, I'm not sure if we, we, uh, we got the right person on this one. <laughs> Maybe we didn't. I don't know. No, you might not have gotten the right person on that one. Um, I believe Puspa Joshi won um, a gift certificate for Arby's, and then the person that we have on the slide for the um, hair. So, so who is it you think won the thing for the uh, hair? Is this like all one thing here, Sarah? Let me check my notes here <laughs> for the hair. Just a moment. So we had Pusley Joshi, who won an Arby's gift certificate, and then Sue Smith has won the gift certificate for Fringe Salon for the hair. So we'll come back to Poopsie, I think, in, in, the, uh, in the next yes. uh, round, right? Exactly, that's, that's correct. That's what you call correcting in real time. Yes, that is quite correct. And then and. our next prize winner is Sajad Rana who won a one month of unlimited classes for New Hampshire Power Yoga, which is very exciting. So I will be emailing all of the raffle winners on Monday to let you know how you can pick up the prizes. All right, well, thank you for the introduction, Cynthia, and you can continue with your, your talk. Well, I, for one, am looking forward to one of those United Way volunteer stickers. It's gonna go well on my mug. So cheers for all that hard work that we saw in that video. And cheers for all that hard work we saw in that video. Um, but there's also other agencies that want to share some gratitude because they're so grateful for the assistance in 2020. In the chat, somebody mentioned the refurbished uh, computers and how helpful those were to our students. And isn't that true? So here's a few more thank yous from some agencies to cheer on our volunteers. Hi, 
I'm Rosemary Dykeman with the Salvation Army of Nashua, and I want to thank all the volunteers who came to the Salvation Army to help us out during the pandemic. We could not have done all that we did without your help. We started doing, in March, 1,500 food bags a month to deliver to the community to get out there for families in need. Prior to that, we were doing 450 to 500 food bags. We could not have done that without you. You all came around and wrapped around and said, let us help, how can we help? You loaded and unloaded trucks with food. You stocked food shelves. You packed up food bags. You carried food bags from the basement up to the first floor. You delivered food bags to people in the community. You also delivered food bags to distribution sites. You also, some of you were out there handing out those food bags every day. We thank you. The Salvation Army of Nashua could not have done all we did without you. It was such a blessing and the work that you did showed members of our community that they are loved, that they are cared for, and that they are valued. They are important members of our community. And we thank you for being part of our team. And anyone that didn't get to volunteer with us yet and who would like to find out more about the work that the Salvation Army does, we'd love to have you come by anytime. You're welcome to volunteer. We'd love to have you. Again, thank you so much. And on this evening of recognition, we are thrilled, thrilled for the volunteers of the United Way. Thanks. Have a great night. Thank you to our United Way volunteers. Without your assistance at the COVID vaccine clinic, we would not have been able to vaccinate everyone in our organization that chose to be vaccinated. We have done over 2,500 vaccines to date. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Adam Marku, President of the Nashua Teachers Union, and I just wanted to stop by and say hi and thank you for the hours and hours and hours and hours of work you've put in for our community, especially during this year in COVID-19. Without your generous support and the help of the United Way and volunteers like you, we would not have, have been as successful as we were in making sure that our students and our community had what they needed. So from all of us at the Nashua Teachers Union, Thank you very much for your work and we look forward to seeing you in person to thank you when the time is right. Some nice thank yous from the Salvation Army, Southern New Hampshire Medical Center and the Nashua Teachers Union. Now, this is the time where you can cheer, get up, stand up and dance a little because many of us have found that music has been helpful this past year and so is movement. So now we're gonna get to listen to the New England folk artist, Derek Russell Fimble. His music is a blend of contemporary and traditional and can be found on his website and on Spotify. And he's gonna be performing two original songs for us tonight. So stand up, move around, shake around, get some energy going and let's have a little fun. Uh, this is an old song I wrote that is yet to be recorded, perhaps one day. Thank you. 
I don't know about you, but that certainly makes a little toe tap and move a little and uh, certainly reminds me of my dad who loves a good banjo tune. So um, thank you, Derek, for sharing your musical talents with us. We really appreciate it. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Um, we've already seen how food distribution was a big part of the volunteer efforts this year. But there were many, many other ways in which you, the volunteers, helped our community. So we've got some more thank yous from some other organizations that benefited from the fantastic work of the United Way's team of volunteers. So here is Public Health, YMCA, and the Nashua School District. Now, you know, Cynthia, I've had the benefit of already seeing these clips, but I will say one of the things that strikes me when I reflect on what's said here is uh, something I would like everybody else to think about is if you asked us a little over a year ago, what did we think we would be doing for the next 12 to 14 months? I'm going to guess almost nothing of what is said in the next couple of clips would come to mind. So reflect on that as you reflect on giving your all, yourselves a big pat on the back for the amazing work you've done as United Way volunteers this year. Thank you, Mike. Hi, my name is Bobby Bagley, and I'm the director for the Division of Public Health and Community Services. And I am just sharing this message to let everyone know how proud we are to have worked with our United Way volunteers throughout this pandemic. This has been an unprecedented year, but our volunteers have shown their resilience and shown their strength and their partnership to help us combat this pandemic and provide services in the greater Nashua area. Our volunteers were there when we needed to get protective equipment out during the voting time. Our volunteers were there when we needed to have support during our testing clinics and were even instrumental in helping us make sure that we could get results back to those who were making appointments for testing by being here to take the time out to enter that information and that data. I am so glad that we are united strong and that we all work together. Thank you, United Way volunteers for your help. Hi, I'm Michael Chance. I'm the CEO for the YMCA of Greater Nashua, and I want to reach out today to thank the United Way of Greater Nashua for all the hard work they've done to address the pandemic issues over the last 12 months. Everything from coordinating different organizations to address food insecurity in our community for thousands of people to providing PPE to RY and many other organizations when supplies were in sh very short supply. Their work and the leadership of Mike Affelberg has made some great things happen in this community. And I want to thank you. Thank you, United Way volunteers. The Nashua School District has benefited greatly from the work of the United Way of Greater Nashua and it's more than 700 dedicated volunteers. The pandemic affected our students and families in ways that we had never dealt with before. And you helped us by supporting us with school breakfasts and lunches, connectivity for online learning, and access to technology for online learning. One of the most visible ways in which the United Way volunteers helped us was serving as greeters while distributing breakfasts and lunches at schools and neighborhood sites. The personal connection was important and helped us convey that we as a community are always here to help and support our students and families. But volunteers also helped us in other little impactful ways such as translating and creating online tutorials about how to learn online, creating an ELL tech lab in the lower level of the United Way offices, and tutoring students who needed added help with their lessons. So thank you, United Way volunteers. When missions aligned, you responded. So on behalf of the all of us here at the Nashua School District, thank you very much and have a great day. Oh, so much gratitude, so much great things we did. And you're so right, Mike. You know, we never would have thought those were the ways we would have been needed <laughs> this past year. And, you know, I know even Greater National Mental Health um, benefited when we were struggling early on with finding some PPE and um, hand sanitizer. The United Way helped us too. So lots of people very grateful for all of our volunteers. So I think maybe it's time that we see some more pictures because 
we've been seeing our volunteers in action throughout the community, um, building raised beds, repairing tech equipment, all kinds of skills being used while always exhibiting a willingness to help whatever the task. So let's look at some more pictures of our volunteers in action. I think that sounds like a splendid idea. Let's do that. of all those computers man that's just so amazing did so we really Mike, do all of that this year we, we did and, and what was it we did after the last video we cheered we cheered and we did what i don't know we said cheers what did we, we do passed it off to sarah for raffle oh winners. yeah that's right let's see if that's we can do that what again we did so Sarah's got some more raffle winners because some of our local businesses just like to say thank you and applaud your dedication. So take it away, Sarah. Thanks, Cynthia. So can we see those slides, Mike? Sure. Um, Hopefully they're correct this time. I don't know if they are, but you know we'll correct them as we go. We'll work it out. Um, so I'd like to thank everyone who we've worked with over the year again. We've met so many new people and made so many new friends. Um, so I wanted to announce that the rest of the raffle winners 
Um, so Amir Tusi has won three pounds of King David coffee and a Cheers themed coffee cup, um, which is really exciting. Ah, this is the one that's wrong. Okay, so Puspa Joshi has won 10 free meals from Arby's, which is also a very exciting prize. Puspa can have, give some away, go for the rest of the year almost, or <laughs> any number of things. And then we have, oh, it looks like two yoga related volunteer prizes. So Meta Dasgupta has won a prize from Banyan Tree Yoga for three free classes, which is, sounds exciting. I believe Banyan Tree Yoga is in the Natua Mill Yard. And then Denise Savage has also won three free classes. Very exciting also from Joyful Yoga. Um, I believe those are both located in Nashua. And then there's oh, some information about our volunteer appreciation packets, which we're very excited about. We hope you come um, this week to pick them up um, between 11 and 3 um, every weekday. So we'll be there with the, the volunteer appreciation packet, which includes the uh, coupons and also a volunteer certificate. Um, so thank you, everyone who won the raffle prizes. Um, and Cynthia, take it away. Yay! Everybody likes prizes, don't they? Well, any, anyway, it's, kind, it's really kind of weird to do this, right? It's like everybody else is on mute and I'm like, yay. And I'm like, okay, I can't hear any feedback, but it's fun. I just get to be silly all in myself and hopefully it makes you, you smile a little bit. Um, but I want to say that United Way of Nashua is not just known in Nashua. Right? I mean, we rappel off a building in Manchester, for goodness sakes. So people all throughout our state know what valuable work that we do here, including Governor Sununu, who we're now going to hear from, who sends a very heartfelt thank you. Hi, this is Governor Chris Sununu. I am so happy to have the opportunity to say a big thank you on behalf of the entire Granite State for the work that you've done throughout this pandemic. The numbers are absolutely staggering and they speak for themselves. When our communities were in need, over 750 volunteers stepped forward as part of the Greater Nashua United Way, logging over 13,000 hours of service. And the work you've done on behalf of your communities, it's incredible. From over 10,000 food items collected at local food pantries, over a quarter million face masks handed out to the community. You supported our testing, supporting the vaccination clinics. You've imp even implemented a volunteer school tutoring program. No matter the need, you've been there for New Hampshire time and time again, never once dropping the ball. You hear me say this all the time. I am a big believer of 603 Pride, and no one embodies that spirit better than each of you. We cannot thank you enough for all that you've done. Better days, they are just around the corner. Stay safe, be well, and thank you. Oh, so awesome. Thank you, Governor Sununu. He knows that we are 603 proud down here in Nashua. I think that's pretty great. But you know what? As much as I love hearing from the governor, I think it's time for me and my, uh, my friends to do another dance routine, don't you? Uh, yes. So lots of entertainment tonight, right? So one, one more dance presentation this time, not cheer, but dance from Showcase Hudson. So they, where they offer dance and cheerleading classes uh, to, to Nashua students of all ages. So let's watch a dance. When the night has come And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see No, I won't be afraid Oh, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So darling, darling Stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand now Stand by me Stand by me If the sky 
that we look upon to tumble and fall or the mountain should crumble to the sea Just as long as you stay, stand by. one song that every time it plays i can't help but sing stand by me oh it's a sing-along right oh it was definitely a sing-along in this house <laughs> <laughs> so it totally appropriate song right because all of our volunteers did exactly that this year we stood by those in need in our greater national community and we've got somebody here with us tonight who has stood by our national community for a very long time so i'd love to ask bob mack to join us and say a couple of words, if you would, please. Well, thank you, Cynthia, and thank you, Mike, and thank you, everybody. Um, I have to say, as um, current chair of the United Way of, of Greater Nashua, when I was nominated um, about a year or so back, I wasn't expecting we would be going through this. So um, it's been a very interesting year, and I am, proud of the United Way, Mike, and the staff, and, and all the work that they've done throughout the year, but especially for bringing all of you folks and you volunteers together, and, and what you've all done for the community has, has just been tremendous. And as has been said many times this evening, it, it couldn't have been done without you. So, I mean, we, we are a, an agency that, that tries to raise funds to support our other uh, nonprofit organizations in the community, but this year has been so, so much more than that. There's always been a spirit of volunteerism with the United Way, but again, this, this past year, just everybody has stepped up and it has been just tremendous. So um, we can't thank you enough. This was a, a great, great little event to, to try to highlight some of those things and recognize folks, but we really can't thank you all enough for everything that you've done for our community through the United Way and what you all do every day. And, and Mike has done a tremendous job uh, leading, leading us all. And we're, we're proud to have him in our community and of everything he's done. And again, thank you all so much. Thank you, Bob. Uh, we also have a recognition from the Honorable Mayor Donches that we'd like to share now. Hi, I'm National Mayor Jim Donches. 
It's an honor to be able to join in the recognition of volunteers for the United Way of Greater Nashville. These volunteers never shy from going be above and beyond, and particularly during the past year of the COVID-19 pandemic, they didn't miss a moment to care for their fellow citizens. Thank you for everything. Nashua has a wonderful community partner in its United Way. Now, I'd like to read a special recognition honoring the volunteers. Whereas, the United Way of Greater Nashua is an independent nonprofit committed to caring for our community. Since its beginning in 1930, the organization has served Nashua and the surrounding communities by investing in health, education, and economic mobility for all. And whereas throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, the United Way and its dedicated volunteers have stepped up to help whenever it was needed. More than 10,000 food items were collected at several food drives. 15 pop-up food pantries served 8,000 people. More than 250,000 face masks were handed out to the public and volunteers also supported COVID-19 testing and vaccination clinics. In addition, United Way volunteers assisted with the refurbishing of 750 laptops for local students to use in remote learning. They implemented a school volunteer tutoring program. They packaged and distributed more than 500 gallons of hand sanitizer, and they did so much more. Whereas the United Way volunteers continue to give their time, energy, and support to those in need, giving back to the community is a special thing. And United Way volunteers do it with such passion, heart, and dedication. They truly care. And whereas it is because of United Way volunteers and those of Nashua's other nonprofits that our community rallied together during the pandemic and have now made it out almost to the other side. Now, therefore, I, Jim Donches, Mayor of the City of Nashua, do hereby recognize the United Way of Greater Nashua and its amazing volunteers. Thank you for all you do. Wow, some of those numbers are staggering. Just really amazing. Mike, the first time you watched that video, I bet you had a big giant smile on your face, just being really proud of all that the volunteers and United Way has been able to accomplish this year. Not just the first time, but also <laughs> just this time, which was the 32nd time. Indeed. I mean, I hope everybody is feeling proud and pleased of all the hours that they've put in and to just have it recognized in such a special way. You know, we know that people volunteer because they want to help, but we also hope that you know that it's really appreciated by many people. So we do want to say thank you to Showcase Hudson and all our entertainers who donated their services to this event. And when we asked local agencies to provide those thank you videos for our volunteers, the response was quite overwhelming. Everyone was so happy to acknowledge how much you helped during the last year. So we'd like to close with just one last shout out. here at the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua. On behalf of all of our staff, board of directors, and most importantly, our members, I'd like to thank each and every United Way volunteer who has really stepped up to support the community throughout this COVID-19 pandemic. We feel very fortunate to be a part of a community that has really done absolutely everything it can to make sure that our community is taken care of right now, whether it be making sure students have access to laptops and hotspots to complete virtual schooling, making sure families have access to food. We really appreciate everything you are doing. And I have a couple of friends who would like to thank you too. Uh, one. Thank you, United Way. How many times do you think they practiced that, Cynthia? Uh, probably a lot, but same thing, man. Every time I see that one, it just brings me smile. And I wonder, you know, some of those laptops 
those kids using, you know, from the United Way when they go home, things like that. So I'm going to pass it back over to Mike after I just say thank you to everybody for joining us this evening. And I'd love if you could put in the chat while Mike's kind of closing us out and giving us some details, what maybe one of your favorite things or something that inspired you tonight. Just, just let us know by way of putting it in the chat here uh, for those that are joining us on Zoom or in the comments. If you've been watching on Facebook, we'd love to see it. But I'm going to turn it over to you, Mike, to, to close us out. Thank you so much, Cynthia, and uh, thank you from United Way for you spending all this time with us this evening, being our Master of Ceremonies. You are the Master of Ceremonies extraordinaire, so big, big round of applause for Dr. Cynthia Whitaker, my good friend from Greater National Mental Health. Um, wanted to thank our planning team. We had a great planning team. You're going to see all of them listed in the credits. Carolyn Klein and her crew have been just uh, working nonstop to put this together, so thank you. I also want to thank um, the amazing staff at United Way. I could not do anything that I do without the help of Sarah, Samantha, Liz, and Sharon. They are just unbelievable. You see Sarah right there still with us in the bunker. I'm sure that she is right now as we speak, sending people emails, giving them instructions, telling them where to be on Monday so that they can do everything that they do in the community. Thank you to Bob Mack and all of our board members you do a special kind of volunteering, which is, um, which is really great and uh, very selfless and so appreciative, appreciated. And uh, beyond that, really, to our community, all of you who have all volunteered this year have made our community stronger, smarter, safer, healthier, and happier. And I know that, uh, you know, uh, Chris Sununu said that uh, brighter days are ahead. I think, frankly, in many ways, we've been living our brightest days, even though it's been a little bit dark at times, you guys have made uh, such an ins inspiration um, to all of us. So I'm gonna throw a slide up there with uh, some credits and wish everybody a nice evening, a happy Easter Sunday. And thank you again for Living United because as we say, great things really do happen when we live united. Yay, unmute and give a cheer. Let's hear it, let's hear it. Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! Good night, yes. everybody. A big thank you to that whole committee that helped behind the scenes. Woohoo! Well, good night. I'm going to turn off the recording and say good night and wish everybody a happy Easter, and we'll see you uh, sometime soon. <laughs>